For the second day in a row, I had intended to go over recent scientific studies, but the sun has once again preempted by necessity. And no, it's not what's on NOAA's updated endless spiral here, although it is a good place to start, as they have both of yesterday's eruptive events on there, showing that we have two impacts heading for Earth on the 30th and then on December 1st. But just a few hours ago, the sunspot group we said to watch unleashed a long duration solar flare. It has a delta class magnetic field, which is where the biggest flares usually occur, and it unloaded an X-ray explosion the size of Saturn. The solar flare itself was an M9.8, nearly X class, and given its long duration, a CME eruption is certain. This is quite obvious when looking at 193 angstroms where you see how the flare point blasted out a shockwave of plasma that is indeed erupting into space. It is early in the coronagraph update process, but SOHO so far shows us a full halo eruption. This makes yet another, a third eruption that will hit the Earth, and given that the flare was strong, it will likely be less than a three-day travel time. It will impact with the previous two events, and so we should have inclement geomagnetic activity to kick off the month of December. There's no need to freak out. Kill shot potential of this, even with multiple shots combined, is less than 1%. But we may get yet another low latitude auroral event, and we could see moderate technological disruptions from the geomagnetic storm. The sunspot is still dangerous. We're still watching. We'll be updating again in the morning show. We'll see you then. And be safe, everyone.